Hey there, welcome to Matic Stringworks. We've got another project for you all. Hope you're enjoying them. Got a new shop apron for Christmas. There we go. Fits pretty well. Can you guess what's inside this case? So a client dropped off their 2011 Martin GPC PA3, six string acoustic, very nice. Very clean, it's used, but uh, very little wear on it. So it's got a solid Sitka spruce top Indian rosewood side, you see Fishman F1 electronics on the side. A little wide fingerboard. Martin guitars. Made in Nazareth, Pennsylvania. And hard to see, there's the tag, but also see where the truss rod is, hard to get at. So the client was complaining about very high string action. So if we have a look, it's you know right around 964. It's pretty high. That's on the bass side. It was about uh, 864 on the treble side. Millimeter as well. I don't use millimeters much, but you can see it there on the gauge. <laughs> I think it's about three and a half or four millimeters high. So I always like to check the neck relief. Client said, oh, maybe we just needed a truss rod adjustment. Well, not when the string action is that high. So when I check the string relief, or the neck relief, sorry, at the seventh fret, it was right at 12 thousandths, which is very good. It can be a little lower, but I like to start there. I don't want to introduce any buzz or anything, so the neck relief is fine. It's really the string action that needs to be addressed. So I tried a 10 thou feeler gauge as well. It slipped under without really scraping at all, so good neck relief. I'll check the uh, action at the first fret. Start with 22 thousandths. It went under there nicely. Scraping a little bit. Try the 18 next. That slid under there perfectly. So nice low action at the nut. Nothing wrong with that. So Martins uh, use a long truss rod. You saw the, where the hole is located there in the neck. It's quite a ways in. So a five millimeter. And uh, just to show you, you know, it needs to be about four and a half, five inches long to get in there. And obviously clear the sound hole. So here I'll demonstrate. So I just wanted to check that the truss rod nut you know was turning fine it was working it wasn't frozen or disengaged and yet yeah, it's fine i just tightened it just a touch but it moved okay we'll save that adjustment for later if uh, needed so taking the strings uh loosening them down loosening them off so that um, i can work on the saddle so we'll have to shave this saddle down to get the string action down. So these are brand new strings the client had just put on. So just leave them on a post, loosen them up, pull out the end pins with this cheap little tool I got uh, 
with something else for free. <laughs> it works very well. And I'll just take the strings out and put them aside, leaving them attached to pad stock. A little wipey wipe. So here, before I take the saddle out, I'm just marking the radius of the bridge on the saddle front. That also gives me an idea of where the saddle sits now before I start taking any material off. And that way I can actually make sure that I don't take too much off. Another little Christmas gift. Really slick mechanical pencil. Reach back, back into the tool drawer and get the uh, fret end cutters or nippers. I'm going to use those to pull out the saddle. I tried with my fingers. It was tight in there, but I don't think it's glued or anything. But just, oh, there we go. Just gentle pressure. I don't want to squeeze hard. It was just really to pull it up. It came out easily. So you, now you can see I have the radius marked, so I know how much material I have to play with. do the measurements and see how much I have to take off. So right under the saddle is the piezo pickup. Nice little thin ribbon under there, so you just have to be careful you don't damage that, of course. All right, let's do some calculations. So current string height on the base side, 960 force on the treble side, 860 force. We would like the string height to be 660 force on the bass side and 560 force on the treble side. So the difference is 360 force. So now to see how much we remove at the saddle, we have to times that by two, double it. So 660 force, which equals 330 seconds. And that will be the amount we remove off of the bottom of the saddle. So I like putting that down on paper too, so don't make any mistakes. <laughs> now I just marked the 330 seconds from the bottom and drew a pencil line across. So I'll try and remove uh, up to the pencil line, leaving the pencil line there. You want to sneak up on it, right? So using various grits, I'll just show this 320, tape it down to a flat surface on my workbench, and just start sanding, taking care to keep the saddle parallel to the tabletop so the flat, the bottom stays flat. Uh, so I got out a little piece of scrap wood here at a right angle and use that as a right angle so that keeps everything flush the way you want important to have it flat so it sits on top of that piezo pickup really well, right? So that you get the transfer of sound energy to the pickup. So I didn't show it all, but after a lot of sanding, various grits, <laughs> I got the nut down to where it should be. And I put a little mark on the front, right? Just to make sure you don't forget where the front is. <laughs> it's, it's not so hard on the compensated nuts because you know or s saddles, because you know where the, uh, the high and the low strings are, but still, it's a good practice. So it just fits nice and snug, as you see, just push fit in there. I didn't change anything with the width of it, of course, thickness. So there we go, a little wipe. And I'll start just putting the strings back on. Don't forget, they're still attached at the headstock, so this is an easy process now, just putting the end pins in. by one. I did this like four times, you know, taking them on and off, on and off, checking the height of the saddle till it finally got to the, the height I wanted. Now we'll just get this up to uh, string tension and proper pitch. And 
and now we'll have a look at the height. So I think you can see that we're right around 660 force on the base side. It's 560 force on the treble. And I left it just a little higher than 6. So if the client uh, decides to put lighter gauge strings, these are 13s on here, so if they want to put, let's say, a lighter gauge string, it should drop down just a hair. So you'd be right at 664. So in any case, it's super playable now. Like it was unplayable before, and now it plays really well, especially up in the uh, like first five, seven frets. And no buzz, no nothing like that. So just double check the neck relief after all that. And it's good, 12 thousandths. I did check the intonation quickly, and you know, it's the compensate, and that's fine. The saddle, I keep saying that compensated saddle works well. So that's it. Nice Martin guitar. Action's been lowered, very playable now. Give it a few strums. Looks good too, eh? Nice guitar. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate uh, everybody watching these videos, enjoying them, and leaving any comments, suggestions, if you want below. So have a great new year. See you soon.